Delete Virtual Machine. Deleting a virtual machine is fairly easy, but first we need to shut down the VM. I'll right click the VM and select Power, Shut Down Guest. To delete the VM, all we have to do is right click on that virtual machine and we have two options. We can just remove it from inventory or we can delete it from disk. And when we delete it from disk, this actually deletes all of the virtual files. So let's remove it from inventory in this example. And all this does is it removes it from the list, but it doesn't delete the files. So if we want to re-add it later, we can. So I'm going to click yes. Okay, and accounting server one is gone and the files are still there. So let's take a look at our data store. I'm just gonna click on configuration. And here's our data store. And we can browse it. And I'm gonna look at the accounting server one folder. And notice our files are still there. And we can actually right click on the VMX file, which is a virtual machine config file, and select Add to Inventory. And we can give it a different name if we'd like. I like to give it the same name Accounting Server 1. Click Next. I will drop that VM in the testing server spool and click Next. And finish. I'll just close out of this. And now our accounting server one is back. And we can power it on and do anything you like to it, just as if we had never deleted it. But if we want to delete all of the files associated with it, we shut down the VM and then we can select Delete from Disk. And I'll select Yes. And that completely blows this virtual machine away. And I'm actually going to click on Configuration. And here's our data store. And we can browse it. And I'm going to look at the Accounting Server 1 folder on our data store. And we can actually see that everything is gone. Its folder's gone as well. So if we didn't back it up, it's gone for good. Be cautious after VM is deleted from a host. There's no way to recover it if there's no backup copy. So that's how you delete a virtual machine. Did you know that after watching our videos, you can sign up for a week of remote access to our VMware lab? It's custom built and allows you to actually practice on enterprise grade VMware servers and storage. VIAdmin.com provides a remote server environment or VMware practice lab composed of vSphere ready lab servers for class or individual use. You can sign up at www.viadmin.com for access to the lab. You get one dedicated server with lots of memory, plenty of network cards, co-training servers in a cluster, two shared SAN LANs, management station, and a KVM controller to manage your server. Within the VMware lab, you can set up any scenario including multipathing, high availability, vMotion, fault tolerance, DRS, create 10, 15, or more virtual machines, and test all of the VMware advanced features. One more thing, we have an instructor-led vSphere training consisting of live mentoring, e-labs, and e-lectures all delivered online. The training offers the professional a specialized tutoring platform that isn't available elsewhere and includes a schedule that matches your particular needs, live one-to-one -one tuition with an instructor, various labs, and Q&A sessions, and the chance to master VMware virtual infrastructure on a real-life teaching environment. Our VMware virtual mentoring goes far beyond mere video teaching. With access to a live tutor, you'll be helped through the different labs and you'll have an opportunity to ask questions and learn even more. 
So if you're really looking to gain hands-on VMware experience, you've come to the right place. Sign up for VMware Lab, self-managed access, or join one of our instructor-led trainings today. Thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention, we have a special YouTube subscribers bonus. When you sign up for access to our VMware Lab, send us your YouTube username and we'll give you an in-depth, easy to follow, step-by-step -step lab book with lots of exercises and over 200 pages of top quality training for free.